Hi, Jody. Thanks for Hi, joining Christy. me today. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you too. Kat Co is um, in rehearsals currently for uh, working the musical, the 2012 version, which you know. And like all of our other productions this year, uh, it's we're being produced virtual. Actors are at home in their own homes and using their iPhones, and we're we're shipping props across the country. And so it's been we've had such an adventure. wow. When you and I talked a few weeks ago, you got super excited about this about this Gosh, yeah. and what it means to you. So um, would you start maybe by just telling our, our listeners um, about you? Where I'm at in my life right now is that, again, I've spent a lot of my time in the arts, then kind of crossing over to arts education and then to cultural institutions, museums. I'm in the space of diversity and inclusion right now. I'm currently furloughed. And so when our museum closed with the pandemic, I was one of the 80% that was laid off. So being home during the pandemic and uh, spending a lot of time in the house and, and all of that, there were days where sometimes I would talk to a colleague or a friend of, and they are still working and, and I would just, you know, start thinking of the, all I am is just a housewife, nothing special, nothing great. What I do is kind of boring. You know, I mean, I'm like going into the whole song in my head in the kitchen. You know, and I'm sure the kids are like, but mom, you know, and Jason's like, oh, no, she's singing again. You know, he's probably like, oh, what's wrong? You know, <laughs> but I mean, there's even a line in there about um, busy, busy every day, like my mother. And, and I think, oh, my gosh. I mean, if I'm a theater kid, that means that I have got to have somebody who is a theater family supporter and my mother. Oh, she just took me everywhere. I mean, I, she always talks about this one summer I was in three shows. Wow. And she, that's all she did was take me around. Yeah. And she said so she was really thankful and I could start driving and had my own car. Anyway, I digress. So well, it makes I me think, wonder too, Jody, about you hit on a minute ago about um, the identity of, yes. your, of the positions you've had and the. Yes. And so as you talk about your mom and I had parents who too you know, did whatever we did, we did it with our boys, whatever they were into, we were into. Yes. And so it makes me think about how much of her identity she wrapped up in you and in, right, and being your mom and getting you to those rehearsals and, right, I, I wouldn't yes. change a bit of it as a mom, right, I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, wish away any of those hours I spent on a baseball field or by a track, right. Yeah, but it is interesting to think about that right from the identity perspective. I think a lot of people when it comes to work is very much about that that is their identity. And I think that's something that I've struggled with a little bit because I've always been, uh, for the most part, most of my career has been in nonprofits. So it's very mission driven. And it's important to me that what the organization is doing really hits home to me. And if I can really connect with the mission and I understand what my role is and how it is helping to propel that mission, I'm 110% in. So, but how does that equate as far as a, a balanced life? And um, you know, that's what some of the characters, they talk about the work as identity. And then some of them don't. They say, I'm just here to get a paycheck. One of the big songs that sometimes when I'm having a moment and I, I, I sing it to myself and um, or in the car, you know, it's that if I could have been mm -hmm. um, because it, it just, it, so the, the, the lyrics are, if I could have been, what I could have been, I could have been something. And if what I could be had been left up to me, I would have been something. And if, if they would just have let me go where I was longing to go, when I was longing to go back then, God only knows what I could have been. And I have tingles right now, even just saying that. So, I, I mean, this, to, and I've heard the soundtrack, but hearing you say it, like, yeah. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I, I think that's why I have been so fortunate to have the arts in my life. Um, because I think about the connection that I feel to the words, to the music, to the characters, to the direction, all of that, it stills in me. 
Jody, I just want to thank you for being my friend and for being vulnerable and putting yourself on video and having a chat with me. And the show opens uh, Thursday, April 29th. Uh, and we have four shows each weekend for two weeks. So tickets are just $20 per device. So you can put this on your computer and your whole family can watch it for 20 bucks, which is like a deal, right? And um, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, tickets are at, uh, so catcode.org. You can find, you can find the ticket link. Um, so I hope um, people will join us and um, I'll talk to you at the end and see what you thought. Sounds good. And I'll help spread the word. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.